Okay, the title of this video is <clears throat> Unfork a Repo. And the reason why you might want to do this is that you would want to put one of these um, projects that you worked on in class into uh, a repo that you would want to share on your portfolio. So, I mean, you can share a, port a repo that is forked from your class, but it looks kind of better to make it look like you created the whole thing. And this isn't saying that you are lying about it or anything. This is just that, hey, I worked on this, I know it well, and, and now it's going to be mine. So I'm going to unfork this Watts FizzBuzz um, repo. And uh, I'll start by, I'm going to go to the cloner download, and I'm just going to download it. And by downloading it, I'm not going to pick up the, the um, I won't pick up the .get uh, folder. So it comes down as a zip. I'm going to unzip it. And when you look at it, you can see there's no .get folder in there. So it's not hooked up to GitHub at all. This is just a, um, I have, I'm going to open this in code. This is just a folder that contains whatever code I wrote. And so um, I can open it in live server. And you remember this project, FizzBuzz. So I'm going to unfork this FizzBuzz project. Um, you also might want to go into the README, and instead of having it be all the instructions, you might change it to just a description of what you learned in this project, or what technology you used, or something that makes you think this is a project worth showing off. And you could mention that you worked on it in class, but it, you will be unhooked from the class for it. All right, so what we want to do then is to actually create a whole new re repository. So let's say I'm going to call it Watts. You can call it whatever you want. Fizzbuzz mine. So Watts, I'm calling it Watts 3020. You obviously, you can just call it Fizzbuzz. You can call it whatever you want. And this will be my solution. And now in, in, I'm going to make it private. You'll obviously want to make it public because you're going to be wanting to share it with other people. So I don't need to create get ignore. I don't need to create a readme. It's already got one. And I'll just say create repository. All right, so it's telling me right here what I need to do to get this repository going. Um, if I needed a readme, I could run that command, but I don't. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to come in here, let's see, oh, code. I want to go to the command line here. I'm in Visual Studio Code. And so if I do a get status, there's nothing there. I'm not hooked up to get. But I'm going to do a get init to create a, um, so you can see it created this get um, folder. So now I can issue get commands on it. And so I'll do get add dot. That adds everything below my current directory, which is the root of this uh, folder, root of this project, and get commit dash m. Um, I can even call it, you know, first commit, um, adding code for fizzbuzz, whatever you want to say for that initial commit. And then, of course, um, get push origin master. And um, could not origin. Oh, I forgot something. So I need to hook it up to the origin. So after you do the commit, you want to just copy that into your buffer and paste that on the command line. And this is just saying set up this git because I've got this local git that I've uh, pushed some, that I've committed some code to local repository, and I want to hook it up to a remote, which will be this new fizzbuzz mine repository. And then I can do get push origin master. And I have a password, but you probably don't have one. Let's see. So you would just, it should just push from that point on. And then if you go back to the repository, you should see all of your code pushed in there. And you can go set up your uh, GH pages on that, or yes, to the master branch. And once that is fully published, sometimes takes a few seconds, sometimes takes longer, 
we'll, we'll open that up and I will open that up. And because there's a prompt in this, Chrome has a security problem with opening up new tabs that start with prompts, but it works fine if you just refresh or paste it in there. So I can grab that URL and head over here, paste it in there, and I'm ready to share this repository as if it were my own. All right, I hope that helps if you're planning on using some of the classwork, which I hope you do for your portfolio.